For this example, we'll be going through the weighted key driver analysis. Upon selecting this option, you will see on the left-hand sidebar, we have now successfully entered into the KDA step. And the only following step that we can proceed to is the KDA to pharmomics, which is drug repositioning using the pharmomics tool. We provide a click for tutorial button, where we provide further comments and insights into the various files that you can upload, as well as the parameters to select. The first file that you can upload or select is your notes file. If you are going to upload your own notes file, you must ensure to follow the sample file format, where you will have two columns with the headers module and node, which must be capitalized. Additionally, we provide the opportunity to upload uh, a single list of genes, which can be in the format of a TXT file where you can drag and drop your TXT file uh, into this box, or you can manually input your genes. So, For convenience, we also provide a gene identifier conversion where we can convert entrez IDs to gene symbols as well as ensemble IDs to gene symbols. For this example, we would just select the sample input list. The second file that you can upload or select is the network file, where again, if you are to upload your own file, you must ensure to follow the sample file format, where you will have three columns with the headers head, tail, and weight. Here we provide a long list of different networks that are tissue specific, where Bayesian are gene regulatory networks, Giant are also gene regulatory networks. Phantom 5 are transcription factor networks. And finally, the string PPI network is a protein-protein interaction network. And we will utilize this for this example. Next is to select the parameters for the key driver analysis, uh, where we highly recommend to stick to our default values, which is explained in the comments on the side, as well as being input for you already. The search depth determines the search distance used to define the key driver's local network neighborhood, where one refers to one connection away, two is two connections away, and three, three connections away. We'd highly recommend to stick to one, but you can increase this to two or three for more sparse networks or for smaller input gene lists. Next is the edge type. Um, and this is if you would like to consider directionality in your network. For example, if the key driver, you want the key driver to be upstream the target genes, then you will select the directed option. But otherwise you would select undirected if you're not interested in directionality. Next is the min hub overlap, which is the ratio threshold above which hubs will be considered co-hubs. And we just recommend to utilize the default of 0 0.33 here. And finally, the uh, edge factor, which is the degree of influence of the weights, where one would be full influence, 0 0.5 would be partial influence, and zero would be no influence. Upon selecting click to review, you will come to this page. You'll be able to review the files that you have input as well as the parameters you have selected. Here you'll have the ability to input your email, which we highly recommend for you to do so that you can be notified when your job is completed. Next, you can then run the analysis. Here you can see the analysis is running and you can also click to see a runtime log for real time updates. Upon completion of the key driver analysis, you'll come to the results page where you'll be able to download each individual result on its own or individually, or you can download all of these results in a zip folder, which we highly recommend to utilize by selecting this button. For convenience, we also provide this table where you can see the list of the top key drivers. You can also see the pathway that that key driver is associated with the p-value of that key driver, the FDR of that key driver, 
the genes within the given module, the number of subnetwork genes for that key driver, module and subnetwork overlap, fold enrichment, and finally more information or descriptions on the given module. If you would like to search for a, a gene of interest, you can type that gene in where you'll be able to find information on the FDR and P value of that given gene, as well as the pathway that it is associated with. You can also continue to the run pharmomics option for drug repositioning of these key driver results, or you can go and display your key driver network uh, using our visualization tool. In this example, we will continue to display the key driver subnetwork, where you'll be redirected to a new tab. This new tab will provide the visualization of your network. You'll have the ability to download the JSON file, take a screenshot of the graph, but you'll also have a legend here that will signify what each of these shapes and colors represent, where the diamond shape signifies a key driver node, and a circular shape represents just a given node. The color is important as this will signify if it is a non-module member, as in the case of the small gray node, or part of a module signified by one color. If it is part of multiple modules, then it will be multicolored. The key driver border color signifies the module that the key driver is a top key driver of. The colors represent the pathways that they are associated with. If you would like to change the layout of your given network, you can manually do this by selecting the nodes and placing them in a position desirable to you. Or you can use this active layout option where you can select different forms of layouts, such as the concentric layout. Upon completion of the key driver analysis last time, we chose to display the key driver subnetwork. In this example, we will go through inputting the key driver results into Pharmomix. To do this, you will select this button. Upon selecting this button, you'll be led to step 3B Pharmomix, where you'll have the choice between selecting overlap based drug repositioning or network based drug repositioning. We will select network based drug repositioning. Here, you'll be able to select a network or upload a network. In this case, we will use the sample multi-tissue network. We also have the option to choose from human or mouse. In this case, we will select human as our data is derived from humans. Here, you can select specific genes and modules from the subnetwork to, to run drug repositioning analysis. You can select all genes from the subnetwork, all genes from input modules in the subnetwork, genes from specific modules in the subnetwork, and significant key drivers that pass an FDR of less than 0.05. Here we'll use all genes from the subnetwork. You'll be able to click to review, which will show the custom network's been selected, the species, the module and gene selection. And again, you'll be able to input your email address. We can now run the analysis. Upon completion of the network-based drug repositioning analysis, you will be able to download your output files by selecting the download options here. You can also see in this table the drugs, the species that those drugs were tested in, and the tissue. In addition, we provide the z-score, the rank, the p-value, and network files that you can download the edges and the nodes. Additionally, you can display the network by selecting any of these links. Upon selecting the display network option for your given drug, you'll be redirected to a web drug network visualization where you will see your input genes are highlighted in red and your drug genes are highlighted in blue. If a node is both an input gene and a drug gene, it will be split color like so. You'll be able to manually manipulate this network by selecting the nodes and moving them. 
can also download a JSON file. You can take a screenshot of your graph. You can also change your layout by selecting these options like so.